Hey guys, Jenny here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your next reading. So this one I thought, so I, as you can see I'm filming it a little bit differently because I, I'm basing this off of a tarot spread I saw online. It's called the Christmas Movie Tarot Spread and of course Christmas movies, especially if you watch Hallmark or Lifetime, they are rampant right now, right? So I thought I would do something a little different. It only calls for four cards in the spread, but I've got four decks with me and I'm gonna pull a card for each one um, and we'll go from there. So I just thought this was a little a little fun, a little appropriate, but I'm filming it this way because I kind of, I want you to try to see like the spread itself a little bit if you can. <laughs> I have a small workspace, so, you know, working with what I got. Um, so if you would take a moment, I'm going to show you right now the three stockings from you to choose from. Okay, so if you need to take a moment, pause the video and choose a stocking. And then I'm going just to get into the first one. Hello to those of you who've chosen stocking number one. So, like I said in the intro, if you watched the intro, <laughs> I've got four decks with me. I've got the Witch's Kitchen deck, the Fairy Tarot, Energy Oracle, and the Natural Enchantments Oracle. And this is um, a spread that I saw online, I think by New Age Hipster. I think that, ooh, got a bunch of cards falling out. Um, I think that's who created this tarot spread. I must have started on like Instagram or something like that. So I thought it was cute and it's a short spread. So why not? So I'm going to just, I'm going to pull for each, each one. Okay. So that's going to be number one. Okay. So that's number one. That's number two. I have it written down, <laughs> so, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't ever remember tarot spreads. I just don't. Couldn't even tell you what every card is for the Celtic Cross. <laughs> and I've done that spread. Can't tell you how many times. Okay. I'm going to pull all the cards now, and then we'll see... Shuffle that. See what comes up for each one. And I know I'm shuffling these cards a little differently than uh, I'll say normal. I just go by my intuition. Guarantee you, if you were to choose, I don't know, stocking two or three, I'm going to shuffle them differently to the two. So. never shuffle good for me. We'll go with that one. is my deck for those of you who are new to my channel I created the natural enchantments Oracle deck based off of the seasons it took me a whole year to make because I took so many photographs but I needed to because it was based off of the seasons <laughs> each season here. We did. Look at that. Got all four seasons. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, 
The first card in the tarot spread is how to find your Christmas spirit. Okay. I mean, this is the, these are the themes, right? Of all Christmas movies. So we have here parsley, death, and that just means change. Um, we have here the King of Spring, who is, excuse me, innovative, inspiring, wise, and theatrical. Uh, a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. And I'll go through these, of course. We also have here a number 43 or a 7. Man holding a coin. I'm sensing a theme of money here. 13 or 4, the great thaw. So, yeah, so how to find your Christmas spirit, I feel like is welcoming in change, specifically relating to uh, work and money, okay? So, I'm just going to hold these up sort of like this. Sort of like that, okay? So you can kind of see them, right? Um, that's how I feel like you can find your Christmas spirit, is like doing something different, okay? I also feel this is saying, I mean, being that it's Christmas time and it, it has gotten very commercialized, um, presents, physical presents aren't everything, okay? Uh, you know, like gifts aren't everything, guys. I mean, oftentimes your own presence, your you being there for someone is actually what means more than than anything else so I feel like this is might also be saying that like you may be needing to look at your budget or look at your finances see where you either you could give a little bit more maybe right maybe you've been a bit of a Scrooge in the past <laughs> and so you'd be a bit more of an elf um, or vice versa maybe you've been too much of a Santa Claus and you're like mm, no can't do that this time Gotta rein it in. So I kind of feel like, you know, you'll, that, you'll decide, right? I feel like that's gonna be cut right down the middle. 50% of you are gonna be like, yeah, okay. And the other 50% will be like, right. So like, you know what I mean? So I feel like you might have to take a really like a hard look at how you spend, how you give money. But I feel like though, you know, like it says, how to find your Christmas spirit oftentimes does involve giving. Okay, it truly does. It does involve giving. Um, I also feel though this is kind of like saying like give in, not just giving, give in to change that is around you. Okay, and I mean this card came right out. This is all about change. Death is a transformation. Moving from one thing to another, one point to another, A to B, um, old cycle ends, new cycle begins, okay? So, I mean, you're coming in strong, stocking number one, all right? You really are. So, I feel like it's just saying, you know, take a look at your finances, fine. Um, also, take a look at, like, the work that you do. Understand that change is ahead. Be open to it. Give in to that, okay? Because that is actually going to help lift your spirits, all right? So, beautiful cards. And I'm seeing Gizmo wants out of the room. Hold on one second. <laughs> and if you hear any noise in the background, there is in fact a Christmas movie <laughs> on TV. Okay? All right, let's see. Can you see some of the cards? I want you to see them. A little bit. Okay, you can see them a little bit. All right, so this next pile that I have here. Next card is your Christmas love interest, of course, right? Elderflower warding. Ace of summer, perfect for the love card. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. 53 or an 8, Magician and the Mirror. Got a little magician, a wizard around you. 17 or an 8 again, Luck. So your Christmas, your, your love interest, your Christmas love interest, um, 
Regarding matters of the heart, uh, you are opening yourself up to love, okay? If you haven't already done so, I feel like this is a process you are definitely entering into. I'm not going to be surprised if you do meet someone. Now, I'm not saying you're going to meet someone by Christmas, okay? Because Christmas is literally next weekend, okay? You very well could, okay? But I feel like this, and I understand this is a Christmas spread, but... I do feel for the majority of people, this love interest is coming in this winter into spring, okay? So over the next four months or so, so just keep that in mind, but I feel like the, the energy of this, the process of this does start now. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you may actually meet someone though, just prior to Christmas. Um, but I do feel like they, they could already be well off. Um, I do feel like they, I don't know, that they already, ha maybe they already have money, um, or just, they're really diligent, they know how to put up boundaries, and that's what I get with this card, the warding card, is they already know, like, they're, they're a strong individual, okay, I'll tell you that, they're a strong individual, they may not look strong physically, but oh no, mentally, emotionally, even spiritually, like, they're strong, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like they're also someone, though, who, who knows what they want, who knows, like, they're going after what they want. Yes, regarding work, for sure. But I feel like something about, like, them, know, like, you knowing they have goals that they're, like, trying to attain, like, you find that, like, so attractive, all right? Um, and I do feel it is someone new. I know in this card it does say, you know, um... It, it, the exact wording says the rebirth of a current one. I, mm, I'm not really feeling that. I'm actually feeling that this is new energy coming in. And they're magical. They're magical and they're a lucky person. Like, they're just, I mean it. Like, they know how to create balance in their life. Okay, let's see the two the magician there holding. Got the two colors going on. They know how to create balance in their life. And I feel like, you know... They may, they may have put in a lot of the hard work to get, you know, to where they are, to get what they want. But I feel like in general, they are a rather lucky person. Like, things happen for them. Maybe sometimes those things take time, but things happen. So I kind of feel like you really are, like, you're coming into someone who, well, who's awesome. But they have put up some boundaries. So understand, like, yeah, you're probably going to connect with them like right away but they may not give all of themselves to you i don't want to say they have trust issues but they're just they're being cautious about who they let in their life okay so i think that's kind of important though right you don't want to let just anyone in but i like this so this is a very strong individual you're you're that's what's coming through well, quite strongly, um, that they are. They may have, like, really intense eyes. Um, I don't want to say it's going to frighten you because it's not, but it's, like, a frightening in, like, a good way. Like, it's kind of like, ooh, they definitely stir something, right? So I like it. You're your love interest. I don't want to just say your Christmas love interest, but your love interest. Uh, good individual here. They've got a good head on their shoulders. They, they know what they want, okay? So I like it, and I feel like, like, once they take like a liking to you, they're gonna, they're gonna pursue you, okay, so it's, it's, they have that mentality, like they know what they want, they're gonna go and get it, so, uh, the next one is your Christmas miracle, Mandrake and Passive, Prince of Summer, who is romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious, Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. Okay, so your Christmas miracle does involve love, guys. 22 or a 4, yin yang, and balance again. Oh my goodness, I love how these cards, they go together. 35 and a number 8, guys, 8 is the number of like abundance, okay? So you, you had 8 in the first, in the second pile, like, yeah, yeah, joy. Oh man, so whoever this this person is, 
that's your Christmas miracle. <laughs> that's your miracle. That's love is going to be the miracle. I, and it's funny though, because with this Mandrake and Passive card, I get sort of this like feeling of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I feel like whoever this person is, like, they're like a dream come true. But you're, for all you know, like, you, you become so busy with work, okay? With whatever this new job is, this new line of work is, you just become so enmeshed, so busy over it that, like, this new person makes their way in and here you are, like, yeah, but I'm busy. <laughs> like, I it's the funniest thing because I, I feel like, like you want love. Like I do, I get that vibe. Like you want it, but you're like, right, but I'm busy. <laughs> like, so I don't know, man, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna have like, dude, this, this is this right here. This is your miracle. This is your dream come true guys. Like, so you, you, don't be, don't be impassive. Okay. Don't be, don't even be neutral. Like, no, 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 no. Put that away. Put that damn card away. <laughs> okay. They're going to help bring also, um, this is someone who's spiritual is what I'm getting. Someone who's spiritual. Um, yeah, you want this guys. Okay. You want this. So even if you're busy doing whatever the hell you're doing, no, no, leave that door open for love. Okay. They say that it comes in when you, when you're not looking for it. I have personally found that to be true. So true. All right. So you're going to be busy with work to the point where you're not even thinking of love. That's exactly when they're going to come in and they're going to come in fast. All right. Your last card here, how to get your happily ever after onion tears. Ooh, I get a sense of letting go. Yes. Let go. 10 or one, the wheel delays are over sudden or unexpected. Good luck a new car or travel. I love this. 26 or an eight, another eight number hostilities. 46 or what is that? A 10 or a one, the smoke. So how to get your happily ever after? I actually feel, so with this, with this wheel card, it's saying things are changing. Okay. So I said that in the very beginning, right? You started off strong, you're ending it strong. So things are changing. Some of these, I'm going to put this down. Some of these changes are going to bring up shit that you don't like. Okay. You're going to have to release physical things. Maybe in your space, you're going to have to release an old job that you didn't think you were going to. You're going to, you know, this isn't going to apply for everyone. You're going to have to release a relationship, whether it's friendship, romantic, uh, maybe things between you and a family member just fall through because right now maybe they're supposed to fall through. But so I get this sense like, okay, the hostilities and tears where it's like, that's you fighting the change. Okay. That's you fighting the change. And I want to say, don't fight the change. Easier said than done. I realize that, but don't fight the change because I kind of feel it. I look at this card where it's like, if you keep fighting it, you're going to suffocate yourself. Right? Like, you know, when a fire, like if you, if you were to, if, if you're around fire, right, fire produces smoke. And I mean, God, if you breathe it in, like you're not going to be able to breathe, right? You will suffocate. So I kind of feel like if you, if you keep fighting, right, if you keep fighting what wants to change in your life, you're going to suffocate. That is not going to bring you your happily ever after. You need to like, if you need to cry it out. Cry it out and release and let go because something better is coming in for you. Something so much better. Your happily ever after is not going to come in until you release what is no longer working for you. Okay. Until you release what is suffocating you. Change is coming in. It's desperate to come in, but if you, keep fighting the change. If you keep fighting it, you're delaying it. Don't do such things. You have a new life ahead of you. All right. That's your happily ever after is your new life. And like I said, it's going to be so much better than you realize you've got amazing love coming in. 
And if you're still dealing with maybe like an old relationship or something like that, new love can't come in if you're still like pining over someone in the past. It can't come in because you're spending too much emotional mental energy to that. Got to make space. You've got new stuff coming in and it's going to be epic. All right. So thank you, stocking number one. I hope you enjoyed these messages. If you would, please give this video a like, comment, share it with others, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello to stocking number two. Okay. So I've got my, my Christmas movies tarot spread written out because <laughs> I never remember them. And I've got four decks with me. I've got the Witch's Kitchen Oracle deck, the Fairy Tarot, the Energy Oracle, and the Natural Enchantments Oracle. I'm going to pull cards for um, each, each position, okay? Let's see. That. And I'm have it angled like this because I want you guys to see the spread a little bit. I don't know if I said this in the intro, but I got this spread, I believe, off of one of the Instagram accounts I follow, New Age Hipster. I believe that's where I where I saw it. I think they created it. There's been a couple of spreads that I've created in the past, but I haven't um I haven't looked at them this year. <laughs> So, let's see now. If you hear any noise in the background, um, well, there are people home, but uh, there is in fact a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> playing on TV in the living room. Behind that door is the living room. Put that away. I find it's just easier to pull the cards now instead of as I go along. Because then I can just get right into the messages. Some of these decks shuffle better than others. The next deck I have, and this is definitely for those who are new to my channel, uh, the next deck I'm using, the Natural Enchantments Oracle, is the deck I created. It shuffles way better. <laughs> See? Isn't that nice? Um, based off of the seasons, I spent a whole year taking photographs and, um, yeah, creating this deck. So I try to use it in like every one of my videos, if I can. Oh, so far we're getting one of each season. Stocking number one had that, had a card from each season. Nope, oh, two springs. Okay. So this first uh, position is how to find your Christmas spirit. Okay, we have here salt protection. Ten of Summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Love this. 49 or 4, Angel of Love. 38 or an 11, The Turtle. Uh, so finding a Christmas spirit automatically, I hear like, uh, well, I got a few things. One, telling yourself that you are so loved, okay? That's actually what I get with that, is telling yourself you are so loved. Also realizing, though, you're already surrounded by people who love you. Whether they are romantic, friends, family, even coworkers, people you connect with online. Like I just, I, I feel like guys, you are already so loved and you need to, you need to really believe that. And so that's why I say like, you may need to tell yourself that. I also feel, this is saying like, you're, you're already protected from the worst. Okay. So it's just a matter of belief. 
and of feeling worthy. All right, so I kind of feel like the Christmas spirit, which, let's be honest, the Christmas spirit comes from within anyways, right? Like, it's not usually external factors, external influences. It's just sometimes, though, external influences tell us or show us that, oh, it comes from within. So consider this an external influence telling you that your Christmas spirit is coming from within and you just need to hear it. Um, I also wondered, so with this turtle though, because turtles, you know, they move slowly and there's a whole thing about that race with the turtle and the hare or whatever. It doesn't like the turtle end up winning because they take their time. So I kind of feel like it's okay to allow yourself um, to take time, have compassion and gentleness for yourself, uh, going th whether it's going through work things or family things or whatnot. To me, I feel like it's okay to slow down and enjoy those around you. Um, enjoy decorations around you. Enjoy, you know, enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the changing of the seasons, if you will. Um, to me, it's just, it's, it's like kind of taking inventory, taking time of what is around you so that you can feel it within you. All right. Because you do, you've got love, not just romantic love. There is romantic love, I feel like, around you, too. Uh, if you don't currently have that, I feel like it's coming in for you, and this is just, like, letting you know. Um, but it's notice the love that's already around you, and you will find that, that it's within you as well. The next um, pile position we have here is your Christmas love interest, or just your love interest, because... Like I said this for this first stocking, yes, this is a Christmas uh, tarot spread, but I don't want I don't want everyone to think like, oh, you're gonna find this love right before Christmas. I mean, Christmas is in like what, twelve less than two weeks, right? It's next weekend. So some of you, yes, you very well may find the Christmas Christmas love right before Christmas. Uh, but I do feel the like I said this uh, already for the first one that I feel the majority of people are gonna come into love this winter. Um, into spring okay so but your love interest tea tree finding nine of summer is a good card wishes come true dreams fulfilled a magical time of life I thought I said magical tune of life uh, so some of you might be drawing in uh, a musical artist uh, nine, broken heart, coming out of the ending of a relationship, moving into another. Ten or one, the snowfall. So your love interest, I feel, may actually have recently or is going through uh, a possible breakup right now. Okay? That's kind of coming through with the tea tree, the broken heart card, and the snowfall. So understand, like, they may be coming out of a relationship or finally letting go of a relationship that for all you know freaking could have ended last year but they were still like emotionally mentally hanging on okay so I kind of feel like but it's not a like I'm looking at this though like you know I've heard people say like it's, it's not a good thing to go from one relationship to another not generally um but this time around uh, it doesn't feel I'm not getting any bad vibes from it, okay? So even if you were to have, like, just even a few weeks off or a month off, you know, you're single by yourself, you know, you're just single for a month and then you meet someone. Um, I'm getting, it, no, it, it, the timing is right for this new person to come in, okay? The timing is right for it. It's just a matter of moving past what has passed, okay? And so I feel like that's, that's the person coming in for you is they're going through that right now. Although this, this may resonate for you that you are, are coming out of, you know, getting over one relationship, um, to welcome a new one in. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. Cause I, dreams fulfilled guys, wishes come true. So I'm seeing it like as a good thing it's just it it's just it's a process right now okay understand that so kind of have compassion for yourself have compassion for the other person all right understand that 
oftentimes like you know when we when we end one relationship we realize what we don't want we realize what does not work for us and the universe is like yay you learned a lesson like sorry that you're sad but you learned a lesson good now we're gonna give you what you really want and your broken heart will be mended okay so it's like when you learn that lesson good karma comes in and there ladies and gentlemen is your Christmas love interest your love interest okay because you've been able to release what isn't working for you you've been able to realize what you don't want and what you are worthy of the universe will deliver in kind this next pile is your Christmas miracle cloves gossip no gossiping guys come on now that's petty five of spring opposing goals arising from different opinions feeling at odds with yourself or others overly ambitious people another five Ooh, a lot of change around you guys attachment 20 or a two deception okay so you're probably like what fucking christmas miracle is this these are all shitty cards <laughs> right <laughs> on the surface that's what they look like um what I actually hear and what actually really sticks out to me more is these last two cards the attachment and the deception where the miracle is discovering the unhealthy attachment and realizing like okay maybe maybe you were already maybe you you were already dealing with someone who has been deceitful Okay, you've already been dealing with, you know, a liar, cheater, stealer type of type of individual. By the way, if, 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 if you recognize me saying exactly liar, cheater, stealer, it's because I follow Chris Rack on YouTube <laughs> and he talks about that whenever he talks about like a certain tarot card. Um, so that's just in my head. But so, you know, I kind of feel like it's like you're you're realizing how that person is and yes you may have been deceived and yes there's you know opposing viewpoints and realizing oh this is not what I want at all and and you know what you're hearing is true and yes that can be sad but I actually do see it like I said not sad it, these don't look like good cards on the surface but realizing what no longer works for you realizing like where you can be better off that is the miracle sometimes things have to fall apart fall apart in order for greater and better things to come in and come together okay so that right there like i hate to say like oh heartbreak or a deceit is a miracle like i hate to say that but it is because it's waking you up to what you deserve and you deserve so much more and you're not going to get yourself attached to anyone like that again okay because so you have so you know the, it goes quite well with these cards if you can move past this if you can accept what has occurred this the new wishes I mean the, the dreams fulfilled wishes fulfilled this card this is gonna come in okay you just gotta get yourself past this and realize what you're worth that's the miracle guys because you are worth so much more than this shit right and you know it do you know it you might say that to yourself but do you know it get yourself to the point of knowing it that is your miracle okay and then you probably like shitty times aren't miracles no they are though because they create change they create change and that's the miracle how to get your happily ever after we have here seaweed prediction ah, I'm predicting stuff maybe you should believe me <laughs> 20 or a two uh, another 20 or a two because this was a, a 20 renewal review the past and present so you can plan a bright new future understanding your life purpose releasing judgments of yourself and others one the sun ah oh, yes guys this is coming in for you 
23 or 5. Beautiful change. Beautiful change, the butterfly. Yep. So, you know what, guys? Doing this work, like reviewing, like this, the renewal card here, yeah, review. Review everything in your life. Review the people in your life. Review what works for you and what doesn't, okay? What you, you believe yourself to be worthy of versus what you're really not worthy of, okay? And I mean, guys, you've got some great, great changes coming in. So putting in the heartbreaking work rewards you, rewards you with wonderful, wonderful things. I also feel it's going to st strengthen your psychic abilities. That's actually what I get with this card. It's going to strengthen your psychic abilities. Okay? Like a, your clear cognizance. That's a just knowing. I feel like your clear cognizance is going to expand, develop so much more than, um, than it ever has before. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. I like this, guys. Your happily ever after is coming right after a heartbreak. Of some kind, okay? The heartbreak may not be relationship related. It very well could be like, you know, a job you thought was going to be so great and then it turns out it's not so great. And that's what's heartbreaking. But something new comes in. So to me, it's like you go through, like the rug gets pulled out from under you. You go through something that like causes like a heartbreak or just, you know, feels like sad or just the fuck. You go through it to get this. Yes, 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 and more yes, guys. So I know, like, so this was, I, I, I this is definitely gonna, this, this reading is definitely gonna resonate with some of you, okay? It's not gonna resonate with all of you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. But I feel like be gentle with yourself at this time, okay? Be gentle with yourself, have compassion for yourself, but feel it. Feel all the healings. You have to feel it to heal it. All right. When you get through this, because you will get through this, and that is my prediction, guys, and you should listen to my prediction. <laughs> when you get through this, happiness is making its way in. All right. So keep going. Just keep going. All right. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed these, this, uh, this message, this video. Please give this a like, comment, share it, subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello to those of you who've chosen stocking number three. So I've got my Christmas movie tarot spread, which I saw online. I believe it's from... Um, uh, and an Instagram account that I follow, New Age Hipster. Um, so, yeah, okay, that's going to come right up. So, yeah, uh, I thought it was wicked cute, and I'm like, I'm just going to use it. So the decks I'm using is, this is the Witch's Kitchen. I also have the Fairy Tarot, the Energy Oracle, and my deck, the Natural Enchantments Oracle. And I'm just going to pull the cards for each, um position of the spread now um because that way I can just you know I can just read the messages and you know just get into it that way so I find it's easier Decks shuffle better than others. Ooh. Oh, that was like five cards that wanted to come out. We're not doing that. <laughs> ah, I feel like that bottom card wants to come out. So this next, um, this last deck I'll be using, for those of you who are new to my channel, I created an oracle deck. Natural Enchantments Oracle. Um, I try to use it 
you know, with every video um, that I do. And I made sure the deck would shuffle well. <laughs> it, I spent a whole year making it. It's based off of the four seasons. I uh, photographed nature. So I have cards here for the winter, spring, summer, and autumn. So far, we've got a card from each season. Let's see if we get an autumn card. Nope, not a winter. <laughs> All right, so this first pile, this first position is how to find your Christmas spirit. Mint clarity, I like that. Seven of summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So it's interesting that it says confusion. And we have clarity. So I look at that like your confusion is going away. 14 or uh, a five, it's been a lot of fives with these cards. Caring connections. 22 or a four, the bloom. Okay, so I feel like regarding, so your Christmas spirit, like it's gonna have to do with like what you want, whether it's what you want regarding career or what you want regarding love, um, just what you want, okay? And I feel like once you become clear on that, like you're like, no, like I'm, I'm gonna write out a list of things I want and hell, you know what? I'm gonna write out a list of things I don't want so that like you are so clear on it, okay? You're gonna be like black and white. I feel like though that's not a bad thing because it's like the confusion does go away and I'm really drawn towards the rainbow in this card and it's like, I look at that like the universe is like, yes, yes, she's not just accepting anything. Like, good, go ahead, like, give this, give her what she, or give him what she wants, okay? And beautiful change is coming in. I get this sense of, like, just coming out, all right? So I kind of feel like, you know, getting yourself out. If you, if you want to invoke, if you want to have, feel that Christmas spirit, allow yourself to get out, like, physically get outside or if like people invite you out somewhere like go because i feel like you have people around you who want to spend time with you okay and i just i get this sense like if you can allow yourself to say yes to that like you're, you're gonna bring a lot of happiness to your life all right i really like these cards i do i really like these cards i feel like it's just it's Kind of telling you like once you know what you want and once you can I almost even want to say step out of the comfort step out of your comfort zone or expand your comfort zone rather I feel like that like you just it's you're just gonna feel it you're gonna feel more alive you're just it's people are going to feel that Christmas spirit exude off of you okay so yeah I like it now this next pile, of course, is your Christmas love interest, or as I've been saying the past two stockings, uh, your love interest, because Christmas is coming up, okay, less than two weeks away, it's next, week, next weekend, so it's possible that, yes, you do meet or have love just prior, you know, for Christmas, absolutely. Um, I, I do feel, though, the majority, and I've said this the past two, um, the majority of people are going to have a love interest this winter into spring, okay? And yes, Christmas basically starts the season of winter. So I'm just saying, like, this might not happen for you in the next within the next two weeks. It could take the next two to four months, okay? Let you all know that. <laughs> so your love interest, eucalyptus, breathe, uh, could be an air sign. That just popped into my mind actually could be an air sign someone though who also just feels like a breath of fresh air okay someone like you can be you can breathe around you can just be yourself with prince of autumn dependable protective chivalrous humorous they could have those qualities uh, cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail kindness to others they may like literally have exude those qualities. Maybe they are a little bit meticulous or OCD. <laughs> Hopefully not, if you can handle that. 10 or a 1, Storm Warning. This is like my least favorite card in the whole deck, honest to God. Um, it's 
Someone who's going to change things in your life. That's what I get with this card. 39 or 3, the sting. Also someone who, like, maybe you've heard of them and you think they are one way, okay? Like, you do, you, you, maybe you just, you just think you have this impression of them without really knowing them. And then once you know them, you're like, oh, they are nothing like what I thought. <laughs> so... I like the, I like these cards though. I do, despite what these two cards look like. I like it though because, I, I, like I said, they it is coming in strong and they very well could be an air sign. <laughs> uh, so that's air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Um, but so it, it just it like maybe they're a Libra because of autumn here. Who knows? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. They really could be any sign, guys, is a general reading. Um, but I just, I feel, oh, but Aquarius is in the winter. Maybe you meet them during Aquarius. Hmm. That's popped into my head. But I feel like it's like they are someone who's going to come in and you're just, you're going to be blown away by them. Like, you're... I should sleep. You're going to be blown you're going to be blown away by them and they're going to be different than what you expect. I almost want. So don't have any expectations. I mean, be clear. It's fine to be clear on what you want, especially regarding relationships, but like that's like that's fine. But like just don't be surprised if like maybe they do have some qualities where you're like, "Oh." <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, just say it. You're going to have to have a different perspective. That's with the st the sting card. It's just you're not that you're gonna be stung. I don't see that. To me, it's like you just have to have a different perspective, okay? You or they're gonna help you to see something differently than how you have seen it before. But I like their energy. I really do. I do feel they're shiver. They're they are chivalrous. If I can talk, uh, they are dependable and protective. Um, they do have a sense of humor, which is great. So I do like this energy, absolutely. But they're going to be changing something in your life. So understand that. Maybe there's something in your life that you don't want to change. And that is the sting. Because they're like, oh no. No, 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 no. We're changing this. But you love them and you're like, okay. <laughs> uh, this next pile we have is your Christmas miracle. Human faithfulness, keep the faith, keep going, guys. Yes, 17 or an 8, the star. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. Yes. Keep holding on that, like, something good is coming because it is a 30 or a 3, the garden and the gate. Oh, yes, your beautiful garden is coming in for you guys. Five more change. The storm. The storm storms come in to clear things out. Okay, so I feel like like what is clearing out right now, and this is part of the miracle, what is clearing out right now is your old life. Okay? And just who you thought you were. Um, or who you thought you were going to be. Um, like I said, this new person coming in is going to change things for you. Maybe help make you realize that there's, there's a part of you that has been lying dormant for a while and they're like, nope, let's go. Um, so I, I look at this as like change is coming in for you. Great, happy changes is coming in for you. That's your miracle. But you have to like keep the faith, keep believing that like, you deserve that and more. You deserve that and better. Okay? Because I, I do, I, I get this sense like what's coming in for you is actually better than you can imagine. Okay? So go ahead. Imagine. Like imagine what your life could possibly be like. I don't know. I'm getting something better than that. <laughs> but you might be going through one last clearing. That's okay though because... The storm's going to provide enough water to, to help hydrate that garden and make it grow. So, I love it. These are wonderful, wonderful cards, guys. The last um, set here is 
how to get your happily ever after with a little luck from nutmeg yeah you've got luck on your side guys you do 12 or 3 awakening change the way oh so this goes with this card change the way you're looking at the situation embrace your uniqueness a temporary pause in the action I love when cards like correlate with other cards changing your perception I said that uh, 15 or a 6 which is a number of love appreciation I'm hearing appreciate be grateful for all that has occurred because you wouldn't well your future self wouldn't be where it's going to be without what you're going through now 11 footprints leaving a legacy leaving an old life behind but you're leaving footprints so if you ever need to return to those memories you know exactly which way to go so i like this your happily ever after is coming in like be grateful for like i said all that has occurred especially the bad stuff especially that because it's oftentimes that we don't things don't change we don't change unless we go through a struggle that's where the growth is okay so yeah your happily ever after is, is it's gonna be beautiful it's you're it's bringing in a whole lot of luck for you a whole lot of luck for you okay you're gonna find your luck changes it's almost like you have to get through this one last thing and then whoosh universe is like all right You've paid your karmic debt. Here we go. Mm, beautiful, 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 beautiful freaking energy. Okay. I love this. I do. I absolutely love these cards. Let me see what else I get. <clears throat> yeah. So what you could be going through right now, like this uh, ending to a new beginning is bring is bringing an awakening to you on some level probably like just you know subconsciously um, on a deep soul level you are awakening it's possible like you're spiritually you're going through an awakening um, not just mentally you know you're not just not just having an epiphany an aha moment um, that it's no this like runs deeper okay but I like that though because it's you're broadening your horizons, your your mental horizons. Oh, itchy. Your mental horizons for sure. Um, but I do actually feel I could see like travel for some of you. So you you essentially are broadening your horizons. You're expanding where you're going to go, and that may surprise you, but it's gonna open your eyes. It's gonna be awesome. It is. It's going to be awesome. You've got a lot of luck coming in for you. All right? You do. And I feel like people are going to appreciate you for who you are. Even the new you that you're becoming, okay? People are seriously going to appreciate you for who you are. It's, you're very needed. 11 is a powerful number. So that may stick out to you. I feel like kind of invoke, look up the symbolism of the number 11, invoke that energy. All right, beautiful. You guys, got, you guys got a good happy, happily ever after coming in. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these messages. If you would, please give this video a like, comment, share it, subscribe to my channel. I would, I would appreciate that. Um, yes, and if you also would have a wonderful day and week ahead, I will see you guys next time. Bye.